A consequence of the law of conservation of mass is that when you write a, a chemical equation, you must write it in a balanced form. In other words, if you take a look at this equation, it's not currently balanced. We have five carbon atoms on the left side, but only one carbon atom on the right side. We can't change the subscripts to make the number of atoms the same, so what you can do is change the number out in front, it's called the coefficient. If I put a coefficient of 5 in front of the carbon dioxide, then I will have 5 carbon atoms on both sides. I can also balance the hydrogens the same way. There are a total of 12 hydrogens on the left, and right now there's only 2 hydrogens on the right, so the water needs a coefficient of 6. Notice I started with the carbon and the hydrogen because they only appear one time on the reactant side and one time on the product side. I leave the oxygen till the very end because oxygen shows up in this example, it shows up in every chemical. So if I count on the product side, five carbon dioxides contains ten oxygen atoms and six waters contains six more, so that's a total of 16 oxygens on the product side. On the reactant side, notice I have an oxygen in the first chemical and I have oxygen in O2. The first chemical, I can't change this coefficient without throwing the balance of the carbon and the hydrogen off. So this one oxygen is going to stay which means I need 15 more oxygen from O2 to make my total 16 on both sides. So that means I need a coefficient of 7.5 because 7.5 times 2 gives me the 15 more oxygens I need. Now to properly balance this, I can't leave a coefficient with a decimal. So to avoid that, I'm going to take and multiply every coefficient by a factor of 2, which is going to change my coefficients to 2, 15, 10, and 12. Then I will have a balanced chemical equation. And you can check in the balanced chemical equation, the number of every atom has to be the same on both sides. If we do a quick check on carbon, 2 times 5 gives me 10 carbons on the left, 10 times 1 is 10 carbons on the right. Every element has to be balanced when you finish this process.